Welcome to Channel Eight Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Fried, and yesterday we had Esper Midrange. Today we have Esper Control. Let's take a look. All right, guys. So as you can already tell just by looking at it, we're not as creature heavy as we were in yesterday's es Esper Midrange. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Our draw package is Reckoner, Bankbuster, Celestis, and Memory Deluges. Our removal and counters are Faithful Absence, Make Disappear, Negate, Infernal Grasp, Void Rend, Depopulate, Farewell, and Meat Hook Massacre. And then our creatures are going to be Edgar. Urtai and AO of the Dawn Sky. And then we've got wedding announcement in here as well to help us with some uh, draw card draw if we need it. But it also gives our creatures a buff of the plus one plus one if it stays on the field after it gets three counters on it. And then our planeswalkers of choice are two Liliana of the Vells and three Wandering Emperors. One really synergistic piece of this puzzle that I didn't think of, uh, it just kind of I happened onto it while I was playing, is Edgar and Depopulate. These two work really well together. One, I love Edgar because Edgar is a huge pain in the ass. He almost never leaves the field for good unless they've got exile effects, which they normally don't. But watch out for emperors, okay? So they will definitely try and catch him with an emperor. So if you think that they're running an emperor, do not attack with him. Uh, the depopulate though, each player who controls a multicolored card draws a card, or yeah, multicolored creature draws a card and then destroy all creatures. So Edgar, depopulate, hit Edgar with depopulate, flip it to coffin, draw your card. So there's a little bit of card draw there. Um, Urtai, you know, you can counter spells, you can come in, you can destroy a creature, you can destroy a planeswalker. I really like this card. Uh, we just got the normal counter cards, removal cards, Void Rins, a fantastic removal card. We got one Farewell, which comes in really handy, and you're going to see it, and I think it's the long game, the really, really long game. Maybe not. It may have been the game before that. Uh, but Farewell comes in really, really handy. Uh, so... Definitely keep an eye out for that game. I do believe it was the last game, and it's the long one. Um, having Celestis back in the package, I really like this, especially with the lights flipping on and off, gaining some life here and there. You can flip it on and off if you want. More often than not, we got stuff to do, but the option is there in case if you flood out or you hit a drop. Uh, Reckoner Bankbuster, same thing. And plus, our creatures, all of them, can crew Reckoner Bankbuster, so you can get through for some uh, cheap damage sometimes. Again, just watch out for Emperor, because that's one you're actually looking to... Uh, Make sure you don't exile a target creature with it. However, they also have Liliana where you can sacrifice a creature and they got tons of kill spells in the game right now. So it's, you know, you get damage in when you can get damage in with this package. The flex spot, I would say, is probably AO. I don't know that it actually works in here. I don't know that it's actually needed in here. It's a beautiful card. Works really great. But we could also go to Dissipates. We could go to uh, some more Negates. We could even out. We could probably go to like Fading Hopes. I would probably lean more towards Devious Cover-Ups just to exile whatever we're countering, hard countering, and then to pull some of our stuff back from the graveyard back into the deck. So I would think uh, AO is probably the flex spot. And that's just my advice on that. Everything else is here, guys. I'm going to leave a deck list link in the description below. If you haven't hit that sub or that thumbs up yet, please do so free of charge. We really appreciate it here at the channel. And again, guys, I'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay. It's really long today. I do apologize, but that one game was almost 30 minutes long. But it was a stressor, kind of. I don't know. We had control of it for a long time. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you at the end of the video. At the end of the video. Stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. Enjoy, guys. All right, we're going first. Uh, not great. We'll give it a shot, though. Not good. Oh, my God, that's so not good. It's so late game. Looking better. Let's see what their three drop is once they get down here. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it. Don't need them having card draw. They don't need it. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can play that. Man. 
Man, did they really get stuck on lands? If so, this is beautiful. Okay. They're gonna crew up. It's a good call. That sucks. Okay. Um. Pass. So they're holding the cut now. I hope you're ready to lose. Yeah, definitely want to exile it. Don't want to mess around with that thing. It's fine. They're getting rid of their hand. Go here. Let's put it here. I'd imagine if they got Liliana now they're going to uh now they're gonna try and get me to sacrifice a creature, right? So I probably should have held off on that so I could crew it and sacrifice the bank buster. They've got something. If they got Shieldred, they could drop it. Grave, uh, grave trash, graveyard trespasser. Crew up the bank buster and take out the emperor. But something so it's gonna sack a creature. Going sure. Sacrifice Create us another one. It's fine. Um. Watch for intruders. Hmm. Man. I think we'll do. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. That way we can draw off of the bank buster. Let's go ahead and draw and see if we get a land. Thank God. Okay. Invoke. Yeah, like clockwork. Sure. Um, yeah, this one we're going to. They can draw. Let's see, four, seven, we could do eight. But yeah. Hmm. Seven, twelve. Yeah. 
We got it. Sorry, guys. I'm country. Math's hard. You're just under. Remember your training. It was a good game. They were good support about it too. Very good. Good game. GG's. Esper control. Mono black again, man. Mono black hates Esper. GG's. This month's Patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. Alright, opponent goes first. This is fairly slow. Ah, uh, bank buster, man. We'll keep it. God. Okay, yeah, we'll keep. All right. Shit. I don't like this, man. It's been so long since I played Control that I'm actually... This shit worries me. Being this late in the game with the way everything's centered out. I would imagine they got uh, Kami. Or if this... Is this Celestia Enchants? Yeah. So... Um, we'll put this one down. We'll hold, make disappear. My nose, man. I use some pot roast with some hot sauce, and it's got my sinuses going. Uh, we will do this now since we don't have any other play so we'll set up the bank buster man I was really if we could get air tie in place that'd be great it's the thing with Celestia man it can it can just refuel so fast go depending on what they play i mean we can counter it or we can destroy the uh visitor when we come into play set up for meat hook kami is what i really don't want to see i really just don't i hate that card it just keeps going and going and going sure We're gonna sweep the board anyway, so. fine with that fine with that too keep playing them out man keep playing them out damn um Judgment is fine. Okay, so put this on the field, plus one on nothing. Okay. 
All right, we'll get this down. We can go in with the bank buster since we won't be able to draw with it. If we do hit a land off the top, then we'll probably make them discard a card. Or Crag's seen enough, man. Celestian Chance falls to Esper too. GG's. Okay, we go first with only two land. Jesus, with this deck and lands, man. All right, I'm gonna trust in the deck, but it's gonna help me pull out of this. We'll keep. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. It's all right. We did. We did. Shouldn't have. We did. Okay. A little promising. So, Harvester. What? We're playing Mardu? Okay. All right. I like Mardu. Gotta let them kind of set up so we can hit depopulator meat hook on them. Um, they're not falling behind in land though, but I love the fact that they ditched to. So welcome to the drought, because that's usually what happens to me. Sure. Oh, you're not attacking. Hmm. Well, that does make things awkward. Here. We're gonna pass up because I want to hit Deluge. I know it looks really weird, man. What do they got that they can cast right now? Play with fire, lightning strike. Were they hoping that I would play into that or something? I don't know. I am hoping that whatever they play out here can be hit with two off the meat hook as well. Not worried about the counter, just waiting for him to play. Sure. I smack my own face. You don't smack it for me. So they got another fable. That would suck. Damn, I can't believe we didn't hit a land. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, gain the life. Oh, wait. No. Uh, shit. Okay. We need a land. So this next one, we can we could do Celestis in the wedding announcement or Celestis in the void rend. We can do a couple things. So it really just depends what they do here. I'm not too worried about these one ones. Another land helps immensely. Um. So let's go here.
Actually, we're gonna hold there. Yeah, we'll make this appear. Man, they got a grip. They've got a super grip. I'm hoping it's like an invoke despair. Are they trying Twinferno? I think on this one we want the chance to counter more than anything, so let's go with this. Let's see if we can get the extra draw off of the vampire on this one. So, do this. We'll attack in here. Um. Imagine they're going to want to try and kill Edgar again. I'm trying to exile Edgar. Good to know. Okay, um, okay. I actually like having Celestis into this package. I mean, I've added it in right here at the last game, but uh, it's pretty sweet, man. I think we're gonna have to get rid of enchantments and creatures. That'll be a big hit for him. That'll be a big hit for him. Uh, Let them play into it a little bit. I don't want to put out another enchant or wedding announcement since we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and cancel attacks. No attacks. We'll end here. Take action. Oof. Oof. Um, damn. Okay. Urtai is good, man. Urtai is good.
Sure. So they're probably going to attack in with at least, well, with two of them. So they can get the double draw. So do I want to use Urtai now? No. I really don't want them drawing anymore, but no. Hoping they pass. Man, I really should have thought that out. God, man, can't believe I let them get two more cards off of this. It's not good on my part. Sure. I liked it. I liked it. Urtai is set up perfectly here. As long as it's not another Liliana, we're fine. Yeah, I'm not even worried about that. Okay. We got rid of our own Mihook. That sucks. But... Then again, it don't. Good on you, my dude. Good on you. Hmm. Ready, my boy. It's your time to shine. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe it's not. Oh, it is. Definitely is. They got three more cards in play. Or three untapped mana. Four untapped mana. So now it really just depends what they get next. Oh, Bankbuster. Bankbuster's good. Bankbuster's good. Do you think we want a memory deluge first? Yeah, we'll take that. 
Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Well, I mean, with that bit of information, I think we'll hold where we're at. Nah, I mean, we can get, we can get Bankbuster down and still have Negate open. All right, yeah, let's do that. So we got Negate open. Um, if they don't need to, we can use Depopulate if it's just creatures. If not, then we can use Bankbuster. Yeah. Excuse me, allergies. It's a good game. It's a long one, but it's good. Okay. Mm yeah, it's going to be a hard no for me. Hard no for me, Doug. Sorry. I should have crewed the bank buster and went with it. We'll give him a chance to take it out, though. Yeah. I can't even think of what they could land that could mess us up. That would have been nice to have a second ago. I'm going to leave this over here. Four card draw. We can't counter anything, but we can definitely remove stuff. That being stuff. That is definitely stuff. So let's see where else they go with this. Can't be countered. That may be it. They may be done. I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But, uh, hell of a game, though. Hell of a game. Okay, so we're gonna be salty. Hopefully not. Thank you. Awesome. They're not salty. They gotta have a trick, right? We got a trick too. They just don't know about it yet. So they gotta be able to kill one, stop another. Either way, they're taking damage. Sure. Let's 
Is there more? So now they either got to blow their plus one, plus one on their Emperor with their Reckoner Bank Buster, and they can't. So they lose their Bank Buster anyways. Okay, do they not have it? So I was thinking maybe they could uh, take out and exile one of my attacking creatures, which if that's the case, that's fine. But... So they're going to do two damage to themselves. Okay. Fine with that. They're gonna take one. Sure. We're gonna draw a card. Okay. We're gonna play land and another bank buster in the turn. We got so much value on the board right now, I don't even know what to do with it. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So they may try and get through to somebody, but I don't think they can. Yeah, maybe a meat hook. Meat hook would be all right. God, man, I hope they don't just quit. I mean, it was a good game. It was a really good game. Okay. So, yeah, they do have the meat hook. Oh, that's fine. We just Edgar in the Bank Buster, and... They're only going to gain so much. So, we Edgar in the Bank Buster. I mean, unless they got removal. If they got removal, that'd do it. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they got the removal. Okay. So, Edgar. Yep. That's Edgar. Nah, because we're going to be able to throw down the other. Yeah, we're going to be able to. We're going to be able to crew both. So if they can gain a life by killing one of my creatures. All right, good game. All we had to do was play in Wandering Emperor and just give a plus one, plus one to the living bank buster. We would have been fine. All right, GG's man. Good God, that was a game. All right guys, there's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, look, yeah, going forward, here's the changes that I made. I would probably drop down one Liliana. I don't know that we necessarily need it. And we usually don't have cards that we want to discard. So I'm kind of debating whether this is just like a Nambo in our hand. So I'll still mess around with it and think about it a little bit more. But if I do take out Liliana, I would probably go back to three Memory Deluge. I did take Memory Deluge down one. 
because I was putting in two devious cover-ups. And then I took out the two AOs, and I'm putting in Witness the Future. I think if we can keep cycling our graveyard, so you really want to be careful with the farewell. You saw me in the gameplay. I used it on the graveyards. However, if we've got this package set up where it's Witness the Future and um, devious cover-up, unless there's just a reanimator deck that we're going up against, I think farewell, we would probably hold pulling the trigger on the graveyards a little bit more. Um, you could probably even take this down to two and go up to a second second farewell if you would like uh that's a possibility or even maybe taking down emperor one and putting it up to two farewells however emperor has been outperforming itself in this deck list really well and again i think we're at about a 55 to 60 percent range on this deck list so there it is guys that's esper control my version anyways and my control versions are always less creatures more everything else and this is everything else so with that guys i hope you guys enjoyed it for you control players here's something that can hold up on the ladder so there you go again guys until next time stay safe be happy and healthy peace much love guys have a great one